This deal I'm talking about today is possibly one of the biggest deals that are signed or one of the most popular deals in the world that's signed every day. Find out next coming up on Music Money Makeover Show. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, and in this series, we are continuing the publishing deals explained. But this week, we're talking about CD Baby's publishing deal. Now, for those of you all who've been following me for a minute, or at least for the last year, you know I covered this way, way, way back in 2019, somewhere back there. But I, I covered everything. And because we're only talking about publishing deals, I'm going to jump into the pros and cons, but I'm going to take a little bit of the bias off. But I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of the deal and kind of give you the uh, the bullet points of that deal. So let's jump in to CD Baby's publishing deal. Check it out. All right, as you've been watching this uh, uh, publishing deal series, you know that the first video we started with was the grant of rights. And just like any deal, that is the brains of the deal. All right, you got the grant of rights and you have the term. And those two make up the brain. The grant of rights is the brain and the term is the heart. Okay, all right. So let's look at what type of grants that CD Baby is requesting. Now, in this grant of rights for CD Baby, they are requesting all exclusive administrative rights, right? That's to do all the registration and all the back-end work. They are, they are requesting the uh, exclusive collection rights and, then the, and also the exclusive promotion rights under this deal. Now, the promotion rights does not go into the synchronization lane. They have a separate deal for that. So if you just want... CD Baby to handle your administrative task and to handle the collection and the promotion and exploitation uh, minus synchronization task, that is what this deal is for. All right, so those are the exclusive grants, but there are like about seven additional grants that they are asking for in their contract. Let me jump through those. So to explain uh, the uh, administrative grant, uh, this is what we're looking at. They're looking for the right to register the copyright. And in this registration that they're asking for, they're gonna be registering at all the PROs uh, that you or your respective PRO rather, and then the uh, mechanical uh, rights collection society in your country, wherever you are. Uh, as some of you may know, for America, a lot of things will change in 2021 with the new MLC coming out, and now it won't be so privatized anymore. It'll be done by the government, which may help or hurt. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. They're asking for the right to actually perform and license uh, the work. All right, outside of synchronization. Um, and then they also are asking for the right to be able to let someone else do that for them or sub-license this grant. Now that we've got those two rights out of the way, we do have to jump into some other things that I discussed last week, all right? We talked about rights of consent in last week's video, but lo and behold, as you can see inside this CD Baby agreement, there are rights of consent. Let me go over those. Now with your permission, CD Baby is asking, they're asking if they can make any changes to the title or the name of your song. They're also asking if they can make any changes to the lyrics or anything like that. With your permission, they're also asking if they can prepare derivative works based on your work, right? So just let's say if someone wants to come in and utilize the work for a certain section of something and they need to edit the song, they're asking for your permission to be able to do that, all right? And you're going to grant them this permission with your signature, okay? So the rights of consent were very small. All right, wasn't too much in there, but uh, if those of you all who have my email list, you can get all my notes through the email list by downloading the profit maximization checklist below, and then you will get a copy of these notes from today's show, okay? Um, also, we got a couple more grants to go through. Let's check it out. They're also requesting the grant, or they're gonna, they're, you're gonna grant them the right to actually license uh, this work to someone else for reproduction, OK, so if someone wanted to do a cover song of your work. All right. These are standard grants that you will find in every publishing deal. They're requesting the right to print and publish this work in sheet music form. They're also requesting the grant to sublicense all of the grants in this contract. They're also asking for the grant to use your name and likeness. All right. They're asking for the grant to actually uh, any other for, for any other new type of copyright laws that may come up. Every contract has that. They always give you that any and all new or other non-existing or will actually exist in the future grants, all right? 
or or rights that will exist in the future they're asking for those as well just like any other contract and lastly they're asking for you to grant them the right to collect your money all right so that was the grant of rights let's go further into the contract and from there it kind of gets more simple and it gets well it gets pretty 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 cool pretty easy this is not such a hard deal now let's talk about fees all right cd baby's fee is 15% and from what I read I did not see a registration fee associated with CD baby like let's say a TuneCore has where you pay a one-time fee to set up everything you know CD baby is part of the major label system anyway so you know they don't really have a fee attached to registering your songs in their publishing admin system all right but 15% gross is their commission 15% right off the top of any money that comes in of yours all right and they will take that and they'll pocket that and they'll give you the rest. It's that simple, all right? And then you receive the net, which is after it passes through the net, you get the rest. After all expenses, you get the rest of that, okay? Now, CD Baby is saying that they have the right to actually stop all payments if you do anything fraudulent or have any sample charges that come up uh, based on what you have done, all right? This is all under how you will be getting paid, okay? What's another cool thing about this publishing agreement that is not uh, in any other agreement or standard agreement is that they pay you quarterly, all right? I don't know what publisher does that, but I, I'm assuming because they are collecting things that are paying quarterly to them, they will pay you out as soon as they get the money, okay? So that's pretty cool. The next cool thing or the heart of the deal is the term. The term of this deal is for one year, all right? They have an exclusive period for one year and then every option after. Any contract will have options in it to continue what was uh, initially stated in the first term. And for CD Baby's option periods, they, are, they only extend 90 days uh, at a time. So after the first year is over, you get another 90 days and another 90 days and another 90 days and they just keep extending it. It is on you to contact CD Baby and tell them that you want to stop uh, receiving uh, or them for you want them to stop collecting your money. All right. Now, CD Baby may make any changes to this agreement. All right. And if, if so, if they decide to do so, then they must notify you. That's stated in the contract. Um, and if you don't agree to the terms, then you can pull out of the deal. Uh, no harm, no foul. So this is pretty, this is a loose deal right here. It's not, it's not too bad. Uh, the indemnifications, like we talked about uh, two weeks ago, the indemnification of this contract is standard. Um, the warranties and representations of the contract is standard. And then also uh, uh, another thing to that you might want to be mindful of or as you grow in your music business career is to know the laws that exist in different states and why different people want to practice uh or build companies in different states um but that's more way 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 advanced down the road cd baby's contract is active in the state of oregon all right now oregon may have different laws in the state of california me personally i practice in the state of georgia uh so you know you just kind of want i i really would love to have um contracts in a place where laws can work in the favor of the company all right for me because i am a publishing company myself okay um, so now let's continue to get to the pros and cons of this deal. I said I was going to be a little less biased, but as I read through the contract, I found out that my pros and cons of this deal kind of remain the same. All right. Here are my pros and cons to this CD baby deal. Um, if you do not sign up for their synchronization service, which I do not suggest doing, you just basically have what is called a collection deal. That's why it's at 15%. They're just collecting and doing all your registration for you. Is that a good thing? Maybe so, but it's becoming less and less difficult to register your music in the proper places so that you can collect all your money, especially the things that are coming in America with the new MLC and the MMA uh, amendments to the Constitution here in the United States. So, um... I think the deal is cool, but for me personally, I would love to be able to pick up the phone and call somebody and ask them, hey, what's going on with my songs? How's this exploitation process going? Uh, let's build a relationship. Let's figure out what we can do to make some more publishing money. When someone is operating in a collection agreement, they are not obligated to go and pursue any exploitation. That's why the percentage is so low. So what you have essentially is instead of, let's say you have someone that can do all your registration and administration work 
for you for a small fee. They're actually taking a percentage of that, okay? And then they continue to get this percentage as long as you let them, all right? Now, that can be bad because at the end of the day, if all they're doing is registering to work and you only put out one album a year, what's the point of having them take 15% when all the checks could come to you and you could just pay someone a small fee like we do here at Music Money Makeover to register all your works for you and then you keep all the money. It makes a lot more sense to me, all right? The only way this deal would make sense is if you were doing five, six, seven, eight albums a year. Like something over two albums a year, it would make sense. Other than that, there's not many places where you need to register your music to collect the money. There's more places that you need to register your music so that it has an improved uh, uh, search optimization so that you can generate more money. That's when the publishing deals really start to kick in and where the work really happens in the exploitation phase. All right. So whereas there's about three to four places or five places that you need to register to get the money, there's a, a good 12, 13 you need to register at to make sure that the money is generated properly. That's the heavy lifting work right there. That's the stuff that takes people weeks sometimes to get all the percentages straight and register everything they need to register. So that's my opinion on the deal. I don't recommend doing it, especially if you're small. Um, if you're gonna release a lot of work, then I would consider doing it, all right? But anyway, that's been today's show. Make sure you download the Profit Maximization Checklist down below. You will get access to the notes from every show. Um, and then also download the uh, Musician Self-Publishing Guide number one down below. It'll show you how to not only register th at those accounts, but it'll show you how to open up your own publishing company so that you don't have to trust a deal like CD Baby and more of the money can come to you and then you can decide who you want to designate as your publishing administrator to help you with these registrations. Um, thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. I would really appreciate it. Share this video to whomever you want to, to whoever you feel needs this knowledge. I will see you all next time. Peace.